What's going on guys? My name is Keith and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the collaboration between Kith and New Balance on the 580. To commemorate the new Kith flagship store opening in Malibu, Kith and Ronnie Feig partnered once again with New Balance to release an exclusive 580 and RC 1300. The official style code of these is MT580KB. This sophisticated color palette is inspired by the natural hues of Malibu, incorporating soft, sandy beige and gray tones with subtle peachy tan accents. The beige and gray represents the sandy beaches while the peachy tan accents evoke the stunning sunsets that Malibu is renowned for. Even though these are not made in USA or made in UK, the materials are actually very nice and premium. The underlays are made from a canvas material which feels very durable. The overlays are done in a rich suede that adds depth and texture to the sneaker. My favorite parts of the sneaker has to be the peachy tan leather accents which can be seen on the end logos, the tongue, and the top of the heel. This detail really adds a premium feel to them. They only come with one lace option which is this sail color lace, but honestly I think this is the best option for this sneaker. This pair is obviously great for the summer months, but I think they're going to look really good in the fall as well. When it comes to sizing, comfort, and fit of the New Balance 580, I personally went with a half size bigger than my Made in USA New Balance size. So for example, in Made in USA New Balances, I wear a size 9.5. In these, I went with a size 10, which is also what I wear in 2002Rs, 1906Rs, 574s, and most of the Made in UK line. I will say these are a little bit roomy, but I don't think they're big enough for me to go down a half a size. I personally like a little bit of wiggle room in the toe box, but if you're someone who likes more of a snug one-to-one -one type of fit, you could probably get away with your Made in USA New Balance size. And for those of you who have never worn New Balance before, I also wear a size 10 in Nike Air Max, Asics, and Reebok. The comfort of these is actually pretty good and I can wear them the majority of the day with no problem whatsoever. I wouldn't say that they're as comfortable as a 2002R, 1906R or the Made in USA line, but they are pretty comfortable. So yeah, overall, I'm very happy with this pair and I'm glad that I was able to add them to my collection. What do you guys think though? Let me know in the comments section below. Did you prefer this pair or the RC1300 that released? If you guys want to check me out on social media, my sneaker page is New Balanced underscore life and my personal brand Days Gone By aka DGB. The Instagram account for that is Days Gone By Co. Most of the clothing that I wear in my videos are from my brand. Also, if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm getting super close to that 1000 subscriber milestone and I couldn't do it without your guys' support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.